In the last decade, Berkeley has expanded its footprint dramatically with our online school serving thousands of students around the globe, with our Berkeley Valencia campus in Spain, with our merger with Boston Conservatory, and most recently with the Avatar Power Station Recording Studios in New York City. But we gotta think bigger. Today we're announcing a partnership with SpaceX to create the Berkeley Zero Gravity Campus. We've got a lot of people preparing now and trying to imagine what is music gonna sound like in outer space. This is harder than I thought. I've been preparing for this for a really long time. I mean, we are a contemporary institution, right? I've been coming up with textures and timbres and tones that are gonna be suitable for anything that we might encounter. We talk a lot about posture in the guitar department, and I think it's important now because it will move. So how does the board feel about this? Well, the board doesn't know yet, but I suspect they're gonna be really excited when they hear about it, and by then it'll probably be too late. How about the faculty? I think a few of the faculty are very pumped. Space is the place. Well, I can't even navigate the parcels in the normal gravity environment, so I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do up there. This is where we live at the Berkeley Global Jazz Institute. We call it the zero gravity home. This is a sound that gets you flying. When you get to that place, you don't know what you listen to. It's just a sound. What we're hearing here is sounds that NASA has captured um, from space. And clearly they did a pretty terrible job. NASA are rocket scientists. They're not sound engineers. They really didn't leave headroom on there. As a former flight controller for the International Space Station with NASA, I was always looking for a place to continue contributing my knowledge. I knew Berkeley was the right place for me. I was worried that there would be no sound in space, but the other day I was watching Star Wars and there's music in that, so I think we're good. So like, what's gonna happen with all our spit and rehearsals? This is really a dream come true for me. When I was a kid, I really always wanted to be an astronaut, but my parents told me there were no jobs in space travel. Gravity? Is this what it's like? Yes, this is exactly what it's like. I'm so glad I came to this school. Can you see any obvious thematic connections? Walking on the moon, rocket man, black hole sun, Wa walking a man, uh, uh, space junk, jazz? How are we imagining getting parents there out into space so they can connect with their students? Some of them struggle even if they just live down the street. I think there may be some parents who'll be delighted to have their sons and daughters in outer space. Where do they go? Oh, I don't know. Don't know. Slow down, slow down, oh. and just finger the scale the way we talked about. I can't oh. understand what he's saying. Oh, so, you I, I, I said, you can't hold no groove if you ain't got no rocket. After graduating from Berkeley, I wasn't really sure what to do, but with a face like this, how could I not start building rockets? Well, let's do a countdown together. Five, Five four, four, three, three two, two, one, lift off. Any questions about how this is gonna work? Where would the calf be? Just dried food? On Monday, we're gonna have this meal. On Tuesday, we'll have this. Wednesday will be this. Thursday, and then Friday, the best one yet. Gravity 
wants to bring me down. What if there's life there that causes all kinds of trouble for our students? I'm an optimist. Really? Music will unite us all. Do you really think this idea is going to take off? This may be one small step for Berkeley, but it's giant steps for humankind.